About a year ago, almost exactly a year ago, we had the privilege and the pleasure of entertaining the then senator-elect of the state of New York, Senator Robert Kennedy. It's been a rather crowded year for the senator, and um, in a crowded schedule, he has found time to visit us again and chat with some of the children as he did last year. And uh, it has been a crowded year for you, hasn't it? It's nice to see you again. Thank you. You're such great help. Last year, we had some Christmas parties in New York City for a lot of different children. And this Sonny year Fox again. was the great star, and he's going to help us again this, this year. Well, you, you're, you're a brave man to undertake the kind of schedule you do. You're, uh, this, this man goes to more places in quicker time than anybody I know. You have a pretty scattered schedule at home, too. Since we were here last time, you've had another baby, making a total of how many Kennedys now? We have nine children nine children but that's how many brothers and sisters i had there were nine in our family and so you have nine again we have nine again. talk about the population explosion right there <laughs> right there you've been uh, let's take let's take a little quick look at where you've been during the year senator kennedy what since you've left been with us uh, here what what's been happening well i've been in the senate in washington i've been all around across the state of new york i went out to uh western part of canada once and then i went to uh, Let's see where else I went. Uh, South America. I went to South America. And you went to. Uh, you took a canoe trip with your we family too. Where? Down the Green River. We went from uh, in Utah. We went from Colorado into Utah on a uh, raft with my children. How many? Uh, yeah. You know, would you like to have done that? Yeah. How many did you have with you? Let's see. I had. I think uh, six. We had six of our own, and then we had about uh, eight. The other children, the other children. We have a lot of children. <laughs> Floating nurseries. That, that must have been a big raft. raft. Yeah, well, we had a couple of rubber rafts, and then we went, and then we went over the rapids. And it's beautiful uh, scenery. So it was very nice. Would you like to do that? Was it a house raft? House boat house? Raft? Oh no 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 no! It's just about as big as long as uh, from you to view. I know, open, and uh, I presume you had what? You had uh, sleeping bags with you? Yeah, and sleeping bags. Then we slept on the shore. Now, any questions you want to ask Senator Kennedy about? Uh, all right, we'll start with the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court here. That's what she wants to be someday, you know? Do you agree with my mother that there are too many big programs on TV for her to get us one? I'm the only one in the crowd who doesn't have a TV. Oh, gosh. Well, I think that there are some bad program programs that are not worthwhile. I think that you miss Sonny Fox. So no, I always good. see him. When I go to my grandma. <laughs> <laughs> well, we I usually think there are go some... on weekends and we usually go. But I think that there are a lot of good... I so think there I are some good... four hours. Some good programs, but I think also that uh, reading is important as well as watching television. Yeah. Yes, sir. Do you think all the money that we've been spending on this nation's space program should be spent on this or should be spent on poverty bills and such? Well, I think and we can why? do the space, make the space effort. I think... Uh, it's worthwhile. It's the exploration of the atmosphere. And I think that um, while there is ever an unknown, man's going to search the unknown. So I think that that's worthwhile. I think we can take these other programs as well. Okay. Uh, are you going to do your best to cooperate with Mayor-elect Lindsay? Yes, I said that. I'd be glad to. I think everybody should. The city of New York faces difficult problems. Uh, Senator Kenny, how did you feel when you were hit with eggs in Latin America? <laughs> oh, well, I didn't like it very much. <laughs> like an, you know, yes, but I, and then, uh, but it wasn't uh, too bad. I can understand it, and those are some of the problems that we have. And that was just a minority, a small minority of but, uh, While we're on South America, let's talk about that. The impression I think a lot of the boys and girls here have is that you, wherever you went, you were met by howling, egg-throwing mobs. That wasn't quite the picture, was it? No, no, they are very, very friendly. Just terrifically friendly to people in Latin America. And uh, all the vast majority of students, although they have some feeling against the United States, are, not, are very friendly and very polite and very uh, hospitable. There were, this was a small minority, 50 or 60, out of tens of thousands of students and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people that I met. So, and you can have that here in New York in the campaign, people threw things. You know, so it's not just Latin America. Well, what about uh, South American children? Did you get a chance to... Yeah, I saw a lot of them. They have the same hopes that all you do. They get that they do well in school. A lot of them can't go to school. And uh, a lot of villages that I visited, uh, seven out of ten children die before the age of one because they don't have enough to eat, hmm. don't have pure water. And there are hundreds and hundreds of thousands don't have any school to go to at all. And uh, maybe only have one or two meals a day. And, 
and they have uh, disease. So they have a very difficult times. So we're very uh, lucky in the United States. Well, do, do you think they, they uh, are curious? Do you think they know a lot about us? Do you think they know more about us than we know about them, for instance? Now, I would think uh, probably a lot of them do. I don't know where, do you, uh, what about all of you? Do you know, uh, do you know what the population study- of Brazil is? <laughs> Do you know how, uh, do you know what the capital of Brazil is? Yes. What? No, that's not true anymore. Brasilia. It's Brasilia.